Hadron is a particle that's even odder than its name suggests. It's a particle that really isn't a particle at all. A non-particle particle if you will. Confused yet? What we think of as atoms are usually very stable. Electrons, neutrinos, quarks, etc. You can hold a bunch of them in your hand and carry them around with you. In fact, your hand is literally made of them. But order on particles simply vanish. Our hands, thankfully, do not. One of these elusive and baffling freaks of nature may have been detected at the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator, the Large Hadron Collider. And this is much more confusing when examined on a more physical level. Okay, so before I go into order ons, how did it all begin? Interactions between particles when colliding at high speeds is super complicated. In all that squiggly mess, sometimes strange patterns appear. Tiny particles pop into existence and blink out within a fraction of a second, only to be followed by another fleeting one and then another. In some anomalies, it's not even flashes in the readings, but mere vibrations stemming from collisions, barely even noticeable. These vibrations suggest the presence of a transient particle. Transient particles are subatomic particles that have the most fleeting of existences before degrading into a more basic form, ending up as electrons, quarks, or neutrinos. Thus, the quasi-particle was born. One particular kind of quasi-particle is called the orderon. It was theorized in the 1970s to appear when an odd number of quarks briefly flashed in and out of existence during proton and antiproton collisions. And in this mashup, if there are any orderons present, we are able to observe them. How? In an article published last year, the Totem collaboration testified their theory experimentally, finding significant differences between protons smashing into protons and protons smashing into antiprotons, along with CERN carrying their experiments on their own. The Regi theory, along with the more complex theory of quantum chromodynamics, explains the collisions of protons. UCD studies the interaction of quarks, which basically make up all subatomic particles. So, in conclusion, is the Orderon considered to be one of the biggest mysteries in particle physics? Can it even be considered to come under particle physics? Yes and yes. Did Totem and CERN discover a new particle? Perhaps not. But did they discover something new and funky about the universe? Of course. Orderons are a discovery that helps us push past boundaries of known physics letting us delve into a world of deeper knowledge. Does it break down physics as we know it? No. But it expands our horizon of possibilities and opens our eyes just a bit wider.